This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. Problem solved. Yep. I'm so. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? If you are a returning subscriber, one of my sugar cubes, what's up y'all? Welcome back. So it's going to be a makeup video. In this video, I decided I wanted to do something kind of dramatic. I haven't done anything dramatic in a while. I usually stick to like a very natural face with the bold being the eyes or the lips. I did both today. So I did kind of a halo glitter cut crease. The first time I ever did this on myself, paired it with very, very glowy skin, very glowy skin and like a fuchsia red lip. I actually love the way this look came out. Doing, doing the makeup, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I know I wanted it to be dramatic and I, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Comment down below if you like how this turned out. If you guys are curious to see how I achieved this look right here, stay tuned. Okay guys, starting off with my eyebrows already done per usual. If you are curious as to what I used, check the description box. I'm going to hop straight into eyes. I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro HD Eye Primer. It's kind of like a white eyeshadow base and since I'm working with color, bright colors for this look, I needed white to make them pop and make them have amazing pigmentation. I'm blending that out with my e.l.f. concealer brush and the little things on the side of my eye are cut up shadow shields just to help with the shape of my eyeshadow. After I put my eyeshadow base on, I'm going to go in directly after with some translucent powder just to set the eyeshadow base. So this makes the eyeshadows glide on top of it smooth while still having great color payoff, but it makes it so the eyeshadows I put on top doesn't skip. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Morphe 12P palette. As you see, I pointed to that yellow shade. I'm going to be packing that on, packing that on into my crease. Then I'm going to take <clears throat> excuse me, this hot pink shade and put that a little bit lower into my crease, like so. And I say this in all my tutorials, I have two different eye shapes. So one eye has an undefined crease and one eye has one eye is hooded. So when I do my eyeshadows, and total sidebar, I'm taking this orange and blending the two and marrying the two together. So back to what I was saying, when I'm doing my eyeshadows, I have to actually be careful with my placement because I have to do it in a way that makes both eyes look even. So looking back at this footage, I do feel like I could have added a little bit more black, but I'll show you, I'll tell you when we get to that part. So right now I'm just blending, blending, blending. Right now this is, this is looking like rainbow sherbet. <laughs> blending, 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 especially when working with bright colors. Now I'm going to take an angled brush and take some black and start to map out my cut crease area. Now this is where I think I went a little, a little bit wrong. Not wrong, but I should have took more time to map out my eye shape better on my, what is that? That's my left eye. What you guys see, that's my left eye. So after I put the black on, I'm going to take a very tiny, tiny brush. It's actually a paint brush. I'm going to try and diffuse that line, but I don't want to diffuse it too much because I want to be able to see that it's black. So after I blend that out, I'm going to go back in, make sure I don't lose the black, blend it, apply a little more, blend out my crease with the other brushes that have the previous colors on it with no added product just to make the transition seamless. So now I'm going to be cutting my crease. I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro HD eyeshadow primer in white yet again and I'm going to be using an RC Cosmetics angled synthetic brush. I absolutely love this brush for this purpose. It makes cutting my crease very very easy. So. I'm going to be doing one eye on camera because this process actually was quite long. <laughs> 
And after I cut the crease, I'm going to go back into my Morphe palette and take that white shade and pop it right on the center of the new lid that we created. Just on the center. This is going to help the eyeshadow that I apply around it blend into one another. Blend in, yeah, blend into one another a little bit better. So I'm pat pat patting and then I'm going to take this same yellow eyeshadow and put it around the white. So I'm kind of sandwiching it. I call it the sandwich method. It's technically called like a, a halo or a spotlight, but it's a sandwich. I like food. This is a sandwich method. And I'm actually taking that black in the palette. I didn't show it. And I'm going to pop that on the outer and inner corners. Now I'm going to take my NYX glitter primer and pop that into the center of my lid. I'm going to be taking some white glitter. This is a glitter I customized myself. And I liked how it looked. But I wanted a little bit more pop, so I put some more NYX glitter primer around where the yellow is, and then I went in with a yellow glitter. Just like so. So I'm going to do that eye off camera and come back. I applied my lashes and I applied some wing liner. These are the Salon Perfect Lashes. I'll leave the exact style in the description box down below. So now I'm going to be using, surprise, surprise, my usual suspects for my face. My Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer, as well as my NYX Pore Filler. I love this as a base for my makeup. My skin loves it. My face loves it. it has my makeup looking nice and flawless. After I go in with those primers, I'm going to be taking my E Pearl Flawless Face Palette. I love this palette. It has everything you kind of need to make a flawless face. I'm going to be taking one of the peach colored concealers. There's two. And I'm going to be putting that underneath my eyes and around my face on things that I would like to conceal. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with my Ordinary Foundation by DCM. This is the coverage foundation and it's in the color 3.0Y. I have been loving this foundation. I mean, I've loved it since I purchased it, honestly. But I've been loving this foundation as of lately because no matter how much I put on, and if you guys watch me on a regular, you guys know I could pack on some foundation. I am not shy. No matter how much I put on, my skin still looks like skin. So I'm going to be applying that with a brush and then blending it out with my Real Technique sponge like so. And I want a little bit more coverage in certain areas, not all, but just certain areas. And like I said, no matter how much I pack on, this foundation still looks like skin. So what I'm going to do is actually spot conceal with the two shades that I pointed to in my Eve Pearl Flawless, Flawless Base Palette. Oh, that's a tongue twister. There's a lighter shade and a darker shade of foundation and I mix the two shades to get my like ideal shade. Then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade of foundation mixed with the highlighter, the yellow highlighter color from that same Eve Pearl palette and use that as my concealer today. I was pleasantly surprised, like, not trying to be funny, Instagram and YouTube, it kind of, you, what I see in makeup tutorials are people, <clears throat> excuse me, something's in my throat, not being shy with product. Granted, I'm not shy with foundation, but it was actually nice and surprising for me not to use concealer. I didn't use any concealer for this look and my skin still looked flawless so sometimes less really is best and that's why I like this Eve Pro palette because I was I was a little bit like oh okay I want I want my highlight to be very very stark and you know bright the way I usually like it and it did the job perfectly so sometimes it's not how much product you put or apply it's the products that you use so I'm blending out everything now face coming together so I don't look like an egg even though my head is too round to be an egg more like a pancake but I'm blending it out and now I tried something different wasn't too sure how I felt about it but I applied some cream highlighter on the spots I usually highlight with powder highlighter from the same E Pearl palette and then I'm blending it out with my Real Technique sponge now, that being said, I did have to go in a little bit more and make sure I blended it out really, really well because I didn't want like stark lines all over my face of shimmer. And I do think that this helped with the luminosity of my skin. 
I'm not too sure how well it translated after all the powder I put on my face. So now you see me setting my under eye with my Fenty Beauty Translucent Blotting Powder and then I'm going back in with that RCMA powder and setting my whole face. Because I'm working more with creams rather than my usual concealers that dry down to like a powder finish, I did not want my face to shine up at all. So after I applied my RCMA powder, I know that powder I just showed you doesn't have a, a title on it, it's because it rubbed away. It is my NYX hashtag no filter finishing powder in color golden. So I'm going to use that to sweep away all the powder off my face. And I look flat again, but it's okay. We're going to bronze and blush and highlight and you're going to see it come all together. Still blending, good lord me. Come on girl, put some pep in your step. Alright, here we go. I'm bronzing with the, ooh, comment down below if you guys remember this. This is the original Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. I'm using the two outer, outer contour shades to bronze up my cheeks and my forehead. And I'm taking the middle shade since it's cooler and contour is more of cooler tone rather than bronzer which is more of warm. And I'm going to use that to contour my nose lightly. Like so. Yes. Fixing the ponytail, making sure my edges are still slick. And then I'm going to take the orange and the pink eyeshadows that I used on my crease onto my lower lash line just to marry the look up together. I did apply some waterline, black waterline eyeliner off camera just because my eyes were very very watery and I didn't want to be crying on camera so I'm just going to be blending that out with my usual I Kate house brush and I'm going to be popping my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter onto my inner corners and my basically my whole face I drowned my face in Trophy Wife and I chose to use this highlighter because even though I did a yellow and white glitter on my lid it translated a little bit yellow green and Trophy Wife is actually such such a pure gold, but it can translate green in some areas of light. I just feel like they complement each other very well. So shout out to me for using lip liner. Woohoo! I'm using my Jordana lip liner in the color Cherry. You see me correcting my error here. And I really took time to try and line my lips. I'm trying to get better at lining my own lips. I do think I overlined a little bit, but who cares? It's red. It's When it's red, like, come on now. Your lips are going to be red whether you overline them or underline them. It's just going to be red. So I'm lining my lips with that Cherry Lip Liner by Jordana. And then I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Hollywood Matte excuse me, lipstick. And it is a hot pink. And I thought that it would go nice with this look. I wasn't really... I didn't really have a concept in mind too definite when I did this look but I'm very happy at the way it turned out so comment down below what you guys think subscribe so you don't miss any uploads from me and I'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed Jesus, Jesus.